All right, Peter, come on. Just a simple supply run. Not see seeing any zombies so far. It's going pretty good. Hey. What? What's that thing over there? Let me go check it out. Excuse me, sir. Are you okay? Uh, go. The, the monster's here. What? What do you mean, monster? Do you mean the zombies? Don't worry. I can take care of them. I'll take you back to our base. We got food and stuff. I just gotta go find some, some more items to bring back. But once I do, we can head back to my base. I'm not talking about the zombies. I'm talking about that thing. What a weird confrontation in the apocalypse. Huh? Anyway, time to go find some freaking McDonald's. Oh wait, they're all shut because it's an apocalypse. Oh, hell yeah. Some cool supplies here. Water, food, more water. Oh, this is great. Some Coca-Cola. Awesome. That's what I like to see. His name's Billy. He's traveling all around. His name's Billy. He's going from town to town. His name's Billy. Gonna knock you to the ground. Billy, the Dimension Hopper. All right, Billy. So, the creature we're gonna be hunting down is called the Demogorgon. What's a Demogorgon, Grandpa Steve? Well, if you'd shut your ass up, Billy, I'd tell you, goddammit. All right, so a Demogorgon, it's an interdimensional creature. It can hop through dimensions as it pleases. Kind of like a biological dimension hopper. So, yeah, he's a very crazy powerful being. There's only one of him out of all the dimensions. However, he is not a cosmic god, I'll tell you that thing. But he is a being with great power. Now, my idea is we, if we harness this guy, we capture him, and tie him up to our dimension hopper, it'll give it a good enough upgrade so we can have alternate dimensions of the same dimensions. Dimensionception. That sounds pretty cool, Grandpa Steve. What do you mean dimensionception, though? Well, basically, it'll mean that, you know that dimension Winston kind of... I left Winston in, and we kind of killed a lot of people that are probably very important to that place. Well, it'll mean there'll be an altered dimension of that we can travel to where events such as that did not happen. Effectively meaning, we have no consequences when we visit other dimensions. We can kill who we want, which we've been doing anyway, but still, it's a bit more ethical now, I guess. So, yeah. Lots of new possibilities, no responsibilities, pretty much a win-win-win-win-win situation, Billy. Now you're ready to go find yourself a Demogorgon? Yes, I am, Grandpa Thief. All right, good, because I'm running out of patience with you. I just finished watching Friends on Netflix. Man, the feels are real right now. Can't believe Rachel and Ross never ended up together. It's got me a little triggered. I'm not even going to lie, Billy. Oh, oh, okay, Grandpa Steve. What are you watching now? Well, you see, Billy, I've started watching Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. So when you leave, I'm just going to sit on my ass and watch, like, that entire show. So, yeah. See you, Billy. Wait, Grandpa Steve, wait a second. Time to watch Fresh Prince of Bel-Air with my guacamole. Let's go. Oh no, not the zebra dimension again. This place is a shithole. Billy, Billy, come in. What? What is it, Grandpa Steve? I thought you were watching Fresh Prince of Bel Air. No, I'm not watching that yet. I have something to tell you. 
I forgot to give you some much-needed expo exposition before I sent you off. Pretty bad story, right? And I know. Anyway, about 30 years ago, I put a tracker in the Demogorgon. Now, on your wrist, you should see a little, little iPad type thing. It'll tell you the location of the Demogorgon. Well, at least it'll tell you the dimension. Now, when it changes dimension, you can actively transport to the dimension off the Demogorgon. Have fun, kiddo. Sure thing, Grandpa Thief. Come on, El Pequeño. Let's go find this freaky, pale, naked guy. Hey, look, El Pequeño. It's one of those Swedish guys again. Hello there, Mr. Gutentag. Oh, he's cool. Wait, where are you going, El Pequeño? Are you going to go say hello to the Swedish guy again? Wait a second. I remember. You don't like Swedish people. You like killing them, you naughty, naughty boy. Get back here. You're not killing any Swedes today. Oh, wait. They're zombies. Oh, crap. All right. You can, you can go kill them. <laughs> you know what, LP? Your badassness never ceases to amaze me. And by the way, I hope you don't mind that I called you LP. It's just a lot shorter than El Pequeño, but I mean, if you're not, if you're not, you know, if you, if you don't like that, please, please don't murder me like this guy here. It was just a thought. I mean, you can call me Big B or or Billy Boy or Boomerang or I, 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 I well, you don't speak, so um, this is awkward. I'm just gonna step back and give you a, a moment to think. Hey, LP. LP. Guess, guess what, LP? Look. Look over there. It's our friends. They're alive. Oh, no, Martin. Not to alarm you, but, um, the crackhead's back. Oh, no. Not Billy. He's the last guy I wanted to see on the search. Hey, Billy. Long time no see. How you doing, man? Man, we've missed you a lot since the last time we saw you. Oh, it's the gang! We're all back together again! How are you guys doing? I hope that giant zombie didn't hurt anyone. No, no. <laughs> After you ran away, we, we managed to escape. So, y y you know. Um, th thanks for the help, by, by the way. Um, yeah, so, wh what are you doing here, Billy? Long time no see. Oh, see, we're looking for some monster. So, yeah, can you guys help us? We're actually looking for our friend Peter. He's uh, gone missing. So, yeah. Maybe, maybe that monster took him. <laughs> I don't know, Billy. <laughs> oh, gosh, this kid's a psycho. No, uh, Martin, maybe he did. You know, it, it might be a possibility. Me, me and LP, we can, we can come help you out. You know, we can go... Look for him with you. Maybe give him some protection. I mean, L LP just took out this alpha. So, yeah. Martin, um, I, 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 I don't believe a word they're, th they're saying. But, um, more eyes would help us find Peter, you know. Alright, I see your point, Albert. Alright, Billy, you can come along with us. Try find your monsters. And, but if you see Peter on the way, please, please tell us. You know, because that's, that's the reason we're out here. So yeah. All right, awesome. It'll be just like the good old days. Let's go find a monster. A and our friend Peter. And your friend Peter. Who I don't remember for some reason. Anyway, l l let's go. Oh, how how you doing, Christian? It's been, it's been a long time since I've seen you. Oh, hi there, Billy. Man, I forgot how stupid you were. Likewise, asshole. So, Billy, you still <laughs> dimension hopping? I believe that's what you called it, yes? Yeah, I'm still dimension hopping. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool job, you know? What, whatever keeps you sane, man. Whatever keeps you sane. Whatever, you know, keeps you alive and fighting. That's, that's what I always say. What do you, what do you mean, man? Oh, nothing, nothing. Just ignore me. Let's, let's keep looking for Peter. Man, Billy is my name. That's not... I meant El Pequeño. Man, El Pequeño, these, these people are so mean to me. And so are you, apparently. 
God, you want some emotional support, and this is what I get? God. Oh, what's that over here? That looks pretty interesting. Let me go check it out quickly. Hmm. I guess it wasn't what I thought it was. Hey, Albert, where did you go? Albert? Could have swore he went down here. Martin! Albert's missing. Aw, oh, crap. Just what I needed. Another missing person. God damn it. Aha! Uh -huh. The monster must have taken him. Billy, this is the real world. Monsters don't exist. Except for those zombies. No, no, no. I'm telling you. The monster must have taken him. He's around here. My, my freaking device still says he's in this dimension. He's around here. Trust me. Man, Billy, you're a stupid person, you know that? <laughs> God. I'll, I'll go look for him as well. Albert, come out, come out, wherever you are. <gasps> Where have you gone? Come on. Stop messing around. We're looking for Peter. Come on, Albert. <gasps> Albert, where are you, man? You're wasting our time. Peter, are you over here? Come on, where have you guys gone? Alright, it's been an hour now. And I've went from having one missing person to six. We gotta go hunt this thing down. If Billy's talking the truth, which I highly doubt because... Let's be honest, Billy, everyone thinks and knows you're a crackhead. But if he is true in this one instance... They could be captured by some monster. Oh, well, thank you, Martin. Thank you very much. You believe... Hey, wait a minute. I'm not a crackhead. I'm pretty sure you are, Billy. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, Billy. You're definitely a crackhead. Oh, guacamole! He's, he's changed dimension. Sorry, guys. He's not here anymore. I have to go. Wait, B Billy, you, you can't just leave. We're looking for our friends. Sorry, uh, President Warthaw, but, um, yeah. What an asshole. Oh, hey, Warthaw, you're here too. Man, you must have got teleported with us. I beg your pardon. Do you know who you're addressing? Man, what happened to your act then? It's pretty crap, not gonna lie. <laughs> Come on, start speaking American again. Guards, take this delinquent away. Send him to the front lines to fight our war. Maybe he'll die there for his insolence. Excuse me, President Warsaw, you're not being very nice, right? Uh, very nice right now. President Warsaw, I'm the president. I'm Supreme Chancellor Warsaw, or General, if you'd like to call me that. Man, you are, you're, you're so silly. <laughs> How dare you touch me? Oh, oh, oh okay, I'm, I'm very sorry. Guards, take him away. <laughs> no, no. General Warsaw, what well, seems to be the problem, sir? Oh, it was just some crackhead managed to sneak in here. Oh, okay. What'd you do with that? I sent him to the front lines to die fighting Schleich. Those bastards will get theirs. All right. Is he there already? Yes, he's there. I'll make sure the kid dies a painful death for sneaking in here. Stupid crackhead. I thought we killed all those like ten years ago. Yeah, I did too. How are there still crackheads roaming about? Oh, I don't know. Make sure he dies though. I'm on it, boss. Men! Today we fight for freedom. Today we fight for our fallen friends. And today we shall vanquish our foes. On my order, Schleich, we shall charge at our enemies and kill them. Are you ready? Listen here, you collector and Carnegie bastards. We're gonna run up to those Schleich traitors. 
and we're gonna cut their throats till they bleed. Are you ready, you miserable mongrels? Um, I I guess so. What what is it we're doing, sir? I just I I just got sent here. <laughs> we're gonna charge at the enemy and kill them. You stupid piece of shit. That wasn't very nice, okay? Stop swearing. This is a kid's show. What are you talking about? You're one of those crackheads, aren't you? What? What do you? Why does everyone think I'm a crackhead? Get in line, soldier. I don't give a shit anymore. Ready, man? Well, LP, I guess this is it. We're gonna die to an army of dinosaurs. This is gonna be cool. Charge! Attack, men! Kill our enemies! Now! For collector! Carnegie shall reign supreme! You know what, Alpacenio? How about we don't and we say we did, huh? I say we go find the Demogorgon, because I am not getting into battle. Hell, I'm not- I'm too young to die. What are you doing waiting on the sidelines, you miserable maggots? You know what, sir? I've had quite enough of your theft for today. Take that, fish man! <laughs> Wrap me, flipper! Uh, I, I deserve that for being an arsehole, to be honest. Alright, Opakenyo. Let's leave these barbarians behind, and let's go find that son-of-a-bitch Demogorgon. Wait! Alright, El Pequeño. The tracker says he's in this cave. Let's go in! Alright, El Pequeño. We're in the cave. Holy shit, this is really creepy, man. Oh, crap, a dead body. Oh, Billy, is that you? Oh, hey, Peter. Listen, Billy, we gotta get out of here now. That monster is here. Ah, so it is the right place. Thanks for your help, Peter. Um, I'm gonna teleport you back to your dimension now. See ya. Wait, what do you, what do you mean, teleport me back to my... <laughs> Told you I wasn't a crackhead. Oh, holy ghoul, holy moly guacamole. More dead bodies. Oh, wait, never mind, it's the guys. Hey, guys, I found you. And once again, I told you I was my crackhead. Oh, thank God you found us, Billy. Jesus, we thought we were gonna die in here. Yeah, I saved you guys, didn't I? You were right, Billy. There was a monster. And your dimension crap must be right, too. Yep, I'm not a crackhead. Once again, I why do I have to keep telling people that I have never taken drugs? Well, you should sometimes. It's pretty good. Anyway, um, so uh, you gonna you gonna teleport us back? Oh yeah, sure. See you guys. Well, you mean like right now? Man, what a convenient way to end that story arc. Anyway, where are you, Demogorgon? I know you're around here somewhere. <gasps> Reach for the sky, you Darth Vader sounding son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, you you can you can stop right there, okay? All right, that's it, flower boy. I'm gonna shoot you. Oh my god, wait a second, dude. I was just coming to say hi, and you threatened to shoot me? Oh my, I can't believe the day I'm having. First, you send all my food to, food to another dimension, and then you threaten to shoot me. I don't think that's a very nice thing to do, mister. And if I could ask you ever so politely, please leave my cave. Oh crap, you, you, you can talk. Yeah, I can talk. What do you think I am? Just some as asthmetic flower? I, I kind of thought that, yeah. Well, how dare you? I am an interdimensional being, as you are apparently stalker, following me through dimensions. Anyway, how dare you come here and try to kidnap me for your machine? Wait, how do you know about that? I, I was watching you guys while you were talking about it. 
Your grandpa freaking put a tracker on me 30 years ago, which I still haven't been able to get out. Man, you're the stalker here. You were freaking watching us while we were talking. But your grandpa put a tracker on me, so you're the stalker. Yeah, but you're a creepy monster that kidnaps people to eat them. Yeah, well, touche, you big goof. Alright, that's it. That's it, Mr. Flower Demogorgon guy. I've had enough of this conversation. Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> Shut the hell up, you flower boy. What? Why, why, why are you looking at me like that? Stop judging me. I put it on stun, okay? He's not dead. Let's just haul his naked body back to the freaking lab. I don't want to look at it anymore. It's, it's pretty disgusting. Wow, he's one ugly guy. I forgot how hideous he was. Yeah, it took us freaking ages to catch him, Grandpa Steve. You didn't, you didn't warn us how difficult it would be. Duh, I told you he was a monster that can travel through dimensions. That should be enough of a warning as it is, sonny boy. Alright, anyway, put him in your stupid machine. Come on, hurry up. Alright, one more little tweak, and there we are. The new and improved Dimension Hopper. Oh my god, Grandpa Steve, I can't believe you trapped me in a cage. When I break out of here, I'm gonna rip your face off and eat you whole. <laughs> That's why you're not getting out of there, psycho flower boy. Grandpa Steve, you're so mean. You know, first you put a tracker on me, then you kidnap me, and keep me as a slave in your machine so you can freaking teleport places? God, I can't believe you. You know what, Billy? Maybe storing him actually in the machine was a bad idea. I think I'm gonna hook him up to it somewhere else. So I don't have to listen to him goddamn speaking all the time. No, no, please, please, Grandpa Steve, I, 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 won't, I won't talk as much, you know, I'll just kind of, I'll be quiet, I'll be hush, hush flower man. No, sorry, Demogorgon, you blew that chance. No, wait, Grandpa Steve, please, please, give me, give, give me one more chance, Grandpa Steve. No, uh, uh, uh. All right, thank God he's gone. Anyway, Billy, I've now created a zebra dimension B. One where they've never met you and you haven't, you know, exposed the world that that mansion happened to them. You stupid boy. I just, I, I was just trying to help them, Grandpa Steve. I know you were, but you kind of screwed up the timeline of everything. But it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Um, good job, kid. I, I, yeah, let's go somewhere. All right, where are we going to go? Well, you'll have to find out next episode. Bye!